Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is uh, an e-scooter that I found in two separate parts. I found the handlebars attached to a bit of a frame ages ago. And then I found this fellow here, the lower bit with the battery and the motor and stuff, relatively recently, at least a year ago. And the battery didn't work and it didn't work. And I managed to make one solid scooter out of two scooters. And the battery wasn't right and Andy Reynolds put me on to how to fix it but to get into the battery anyways you um take out a load of screws around the bottom take off this bottom plate and the battery's in there and it's held on with four screws in this case depending on let's have a look at the model you can have a look at that and if your one looks like that well then but they're all similar these things they have a motor on the front wheel and a little control panel little control panel like that up on top and there's a one button on it and depending on how you press the button the thing turns on if the button won't turn on the voltage is probably dropped below the critical voltage which on this one is if you're looking at it upside down under voltage 31 volts and it's meant to run at 36 volts which means it's a 42 volt charger because that's how they're they're rated so you take out the screws you take the battery out and the battery comes in a piece of plastic that's absent. Oh yeah, this piece here, it's wrapped up in shrink wrap plastic with numbers like that on it. So you get a scissors and you cut all that stuff off. And then you clear yourself some space at a workbench, like this. Or there's other things on the go. I'm charging up this uh, Spear and Jackson battery over there and it's got another half a, half a volt to go to get it up to charge. I'm gonna clear some space here. These are the screws that came out. The bottom's held on with Phillips screws and many, many of them. And then the uh, battery's held in a screw on each corner. Now, we see that? Yes, we see this. We'll turn that on to voltage. And first thing I'll do is put the voltage on up here, negative and positive. What am I getting there? I'm getting nothing out of it, am I? Should be getting something. Let's try it up here. It's only giving me millivolts there. They're jumping all around. Well, that's not right. So, what I can do is start at one end. I think this is one end. And go up to here. 25.3 volts. So that's under 30. 31, was it? So here it says MV and it's auto ranging, so you need to keep an eye on that. So if we start here at the bottom, we should be getting around four volts per set of cells. So there's 4.17, which is 4.2, which is kind of the max for a lithium cell. And then if I go to here, the same. Then if I work my way up the chain, the same. Then if I go up here, same again. So we're, we're okay up as far as here. Next one. And that's giving me 80 millivolts. Next one, 130 millivolts. Next one, full voltage, 4 volts, 4.2 volts again. Next one, 0 millivolts. That's not great. Let's see, is there any? Yeah, nothing. Next one, 14 millivolts. And the last one, full voltage again. So, all those numbers should add up to 24 or whatever I said it was. You can see how... You have a group of three that are linked to this three, and then they're all linked back to this three, one, two, three, and then they're linked to this th end of this three, and this tap coming across to this three, and this three. So it's, it's a, uh, what would that be? For 36 volts, is it 8S3? How many banks are there? One, two, three, four five six seven eight nine ten one see the way the triangles are so one triangle two triangles three four five six seven eight nine ten so it's a 10s3 uh, battery battery bank battery pack uh, given 36 volts i've been in here before you can see the purple batteries i've swapped them out before andy reynolds showed me how to do it you get a cutters and you chop the ends off and then you slide in the batteries you want which are good cells out of a vacuum cleaner typically is where i'll get them vacuum cleaner batteries have them all everything with uh these are 18650 cells you see there it says 
one NR 18650 and what that refers to is that the diameter of the battery is 18 millimeters in diameter and the length is 65 mil there to there uh, and the zero I don't know an S and two 2500 milliamp hours and when you add it all up you get the full battery and then this circuit board on top is your battery management system so it's probably not letting any voltage out at all because it's under voltage although I thought it was so let me just check that again I thought I was able to sense a voltage on it before so if I get it in here and in here it's giving me under a volt if I put the negative on there I'm the wrong way around here that's giving me nothing on the output, so I have to do it manually past the board and getting to 21, 21 volts somehow. I thought it was higher. Okay. Uh, maybe it's higher if I do it over here. Yeah, 25. Okay. So half of the batteries roughly are okay, probably more than half if it's 25 volts. Um, it should be 41 or 2 volts. So contrast that to this battery pack here. This is a LE Top. found this in a different scooter, I think. Now, at the end, I think, pulls out of this. I've had this one open before, I'd say. Oh, I'm cautious about this one. Right, come on, Ellie Top. I think. Anyways, it's the same thing, but it's just arranged differently. I presume it has a BMS in it as well. I don't really want to go in there. But if I show you this here on the cables coming out of it it doesn't have a charging so it might not have a charging setup in it and I need to take it apart and check um it's giving me 42 volts so in theory i could plug this into the scooter and go if it has a charging if it, it like it could, could be possible to charge it just through that port i can't remember even where i got it let's try and get into it i think i've to slid it out before so but i might not have I've lost something else there now come on out Want to damage the wires i don't know that i've been in here before have i see these, these things all get glued together i don't want to pull the wires off on that so i'm not going to damage it anymore i don't know i'd have to look that up so that's a hy le top dash s100 s1003 act dash gd you might get a spec for that 36 volts, 280 watt hours. So that's um, one third of a kilowatt hour. But I could put that battery in. It's the right. It's not. It's not the same form factor, but it's it's right insofar as it'll fit where I needed to. I've che I've checked it in the in the scooter before, so I could plug that straight in. On the other hand, I don't really need the scooter. So what's the point? Like it's not something I want to sell. I've used it once or twice, but. You're not allowed to use them on the roads in England. Uh, that doesn't stop most everybody doing doing that. But uh, this is my diagnosis anyways. If I wanted to, I could get a wire cutters, side cutters, the little nippers, and just pop off this end here on the dead batteries. I think those three are okay. Pop off the dead end and then slide in the batteries, observing the correct polarity. And then with a big, big soldering iron, before you put the batteries in, put a drop of solder on them and get it to stick. And then once they're in, just jump it across with this is, um, I think that's two and a half mil copper cable, two and a half millimeter squared copper cable, um, just to make up the pattern on top and try and keep the strips running down. Or you could get the proper strips and weld them, but uh, I don't have a welder for it. I don't want to make one. I could make one. And I don't even need the battery pack to work. So the whole thing is a bit of a moot point because, well, we are where we are and I've spent 10 minutes talking to you about it. Over there, 23.6 on that Spear and Jackson. That'll feature in a different video, how I've bodged that charger together out of a Dyson charger. Uh, for this one, tell me what you think. I think we're going to come up against this more and more where these battery packs are, are pooped. Just because there's more and more of them out there but like in the first instance i checked this one it had voltage had dropped and it was only three cells that were out it, it may be possible if you're only down by a few volts um if it's self-discharged maybe you know just like down to three volts or something like that to put a real slow trickle charge across the cells and see if you can get them back up but when they've gone right down below one volt i don't, I don't think there's any point in trying so 
really on this pack you'd be better off doing the all of the cells with you know new cells or recovered cells but equally it's just a pain for something i don't need to use that's the issue i've done this project once i got that scooter going and that project's been done but we are going to come up against this more and more in life as more and more things have lithium ion batteries in them that is if we want to fix them if you just want to throw them out and get a new one or just always buy new battery packs and then Apparently these cells can be sent to Germany for recycling. I'm not entirely sure if that's true. That's what the e-cigarette people are saying when they recover the batteries out of e-cigarettes. They can be sent to Germany for processing into something. I don't know what though. I don't know if they're really recycling them or what. But for now, um, tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you later.